Foraminifera, Latin for whole bearers, informally called forums, are members of a phylum or class of amoeboid protists characterized by streaming granular ectoplasm for catching food and other uses, and commonly an external shell called a test are diverse forms and materials. Tests of chitin found in some simple genera, and textularia in particular are believed to be the most primitive type. Most foraminifera are marine, the majority of which live on or within the seafloor sediment i.e., a benthic, while a smaller variety float in the water column at various depths i.e., a planktonic. Fewer are known from freshwater or brackish conditions, and some very few soil species have been identified through molecular analysis of small subunit ribosomal DNA. Foraminifera typically produce a test, or shell, which can have either one or multiple chambers, some becoming quite elaborate in structure. These shells are commonly made of calcium carbonate, calcium carbonate or agglutinated sediment particles. Over 50,000 species are recognized, both living and fossil. They are usually less than 1 mm in size, but some are much larger, the largest species reaching up to 20 cm. In modern scientific English, the term foraminifera is both singular and plural, irrespective of the word's Latin derivation, and is used to describe one or more specimens or taxa. Its usage as singular or plural must be determined from context. Foraminifera is frequently used informally to describe the group, and in these cases is generally lowercase. Topic. Taxonomy The taxonomic position of the foraminifera has varied since their recognition as protozoa by Schultz in 1854. They're referred to as an order, foraminiferida. Loblich and Tappan re-ranked foraminifera as a class as it is now commonly regarded. The foraminifera have typically been included in the protozoa, or in the similar protoctista or protist kingdom. Compelling evidence, based primarily on molecular phylogenetics, exists for their belonging to a major group within the protozoa known as the Rhizaria. Prior to the recognition of evolutionary relationships among the members of the Rhizaria, the Foraminifera were generally grouped with other amoeboids as phylum Rhizopodia or Sarcodina in the class Granuloreticulosa. The Rhizaria are problematic, as they are often called a supergroup, rather than using an established taxonomic rank such as phylum. Cavalier Smith defines the Rhizaria as an infra kingdom within the kingdom Protozoa. Some taxonomies put the Foraminifera in a phylum of their own, putting them on par with the amoeboid Sarcodina in which they had been placed. Although as yet unsupported by morphological correlates, molecular data strongly suggest the Foraminifera are closely related to the Circozoa and Radiolaria, both of which also include amoeboids with complex shells. These three groups make up the Rhizaria. However, the exact relationships of the forums to the other groups and to one another are still not entirely clear. Foraminifera are closely related to testate amoebae, the most recent taxonomy by Miklovich 2013. Foraminifera Dorbini 1826 order Reticulomyxida class Schizoclidia Seedhagen and Matson 1992 order Schizoclidida class Xenophyophoria Schultz 1904 order Stanomyda Tendal 1972 order Saminida Tendal 1972 class Asteriza de Sadova 1981 subclass Lagnana Miklovich 1980 order Amoskalari de Miklovich 1980 order Lagnida Miklovich 1980 order Alogramida Loblich and Tappan 1961 subclass Astrohazan Sadova 1981 Order Astrohizida Lancaster 1885 Order Dendrophryida Miklovich 1995 Order Hippocrepanida Sadova 1981 Order Paratheraminida Miklovich 1980 Order Samosferida Heckel 1894 Class Rotaliata Miklovich 1980 Highland Foraminifers, Subclass Globigerinana Miklovich 1980 Order Casagerinalida Miklovich 2013 Order Globigerinida Carpenter, Parker and Jones 1862 Order Hankaninida Miklovich 1980 Order Heterohelicida Fursenko 1958 Order Globoritaliida Miklovich 1980 Subclass Textulariana Miklovich 1980 Order Nordoloculonida Miklovich 2003 Order Spiroplectaminida Miklovich 1992 Order Textulariida Delage and Heruard 1896 Order Trochaminida Sadova 1981 Katarinida Loblich and Tappan 1955 Order Vernoyanida Miklovich and Kaminsky 2003 Subclass Rotaliana Miklovich 1980 
Superorder Robertinoida Miklovich 1980 Order Robertinida Miklovich 1980 Superorder Nonyanoida Sadova 1981 Order Elfidida Sadova 1981 Order Numalitida Carpenter, Parker and Jones 1862 Order Orbitoidida Copeland 1956 Order Nonyanoida Sadova 1981 Superorder Bulimanoida Sadova 1981 Order Casadulanida Dorvini 1839 Order Bulimanida Sadova 1981 Order Bolivinidida Sadova 1981 Superorder Discorboida Ehrenberg 1838 Order Chilostomalida Heckel 1894 Order Discorbida Ehrenberg 1838 Order Glabratilida Miklovich 1994 Order Planorbulanida Miklovich 1992 Order Rotalida Lenkista 1885 Order Rosalinida Delage and Heriwad 1896 Class Nadozariada Miklovich 1992 Subclass Hormozanana Miklovich 1992 Order Amomarginalinida Miklovich 2002 Order Norita Miklovich 1980 Order Pseudo Parmelita Miklovich 1992 Order Sakaminita Lenkista 1885 Order Hormozinita Miklovich 1980 Subclass Nadozariana Miklovich 1992 Order Biseriaminita Miklovich 1981 Order Delosinita Revitz 1989 Order Laganita Delage and Heriwad 1896 Order Paleotextularita Hoenegger and Pillar 1975 Order Polymorphinita Miklovich 1980 Order Vaginalinita Miklovich 1993 Order Nadozari de Kalkins 1926 Class Spirulinata Miklovich 1992 Subclass Amodiskana Miklovich 1980 Order Plagiorafida Miklovich 2003 Order Amodashita Miklovich 1980 Pseudomodiskoida Connell and Lise 1970 Order Amuvertalinita Miklovich 1999 Order Ataxofremita Fursinko 1958 Orbitolinita Ehrenberg 1839 Subclass Spirulinana Miklovich 1992 Superorder Archidis Goida Pahakov and Skvortsov 1979 Order Arkidishida Poja. RKOV and Skvortsov 1979 Order Lasiadishida Miklovich 1993 Order Tetrataxida Miklovich 1981 Superorder Involutanoida Hoenegger and Pula 1977 Order Hotingerelida Miklovich 1993 Order Involutanida Hoenegger and Pula 1977 Superorder Spirulanoida Hoenegger and Pula 1975 Order Seabrookida Miklovich 1980 Order Symboloperida Mikulovich 2013 Order Spirulinida Hoenegger and Pula 1975 Order Patelanida Miklovich 1992 class Miliolata Sadova 1981 Porcelanius Foraminifers subclass Schlumbergerainana Miklovich 1992 Order Latero Debita Miklovich 1992 Order Loftusita Kaminsky and Miklovich 2004 Order Sferaminita Miklovich and Kaminsky 2004 Order Cyclolinita Miklovich 1992 Order Haplofremita Loblich and Tappan 1989 Order Schlumbergerainita Miklovich 1980 Rakinita Sadova 1981 Order Lituolita Lancaster 1885 Subclass Miliolana Sadova 1981 Clade Fusilinoids Order Ozawinelita Solovieva 1980 Order Endothyroida Fursenko 1958 Order Tornelita Hoenegger and Pilla 1973 Order Fusilinita Fursenko 1958 Order Neoshvagarinita Minato and Honjo 1966 Order Schubertalita Skinner 1931 Order Schvagarinita Solovieva 1985 Order Staffelita Mikliko Makli 1949 Clade Miliolids Order Kostiferita Miklovich 1988 Order Squamulinita Miklovich 1988 Order Cornuspirita Jirovec 1953 Order Soritita Schultz 1854 Orbitolitita Wedekind 1937 Order Nubecularita Jones 1875 Order Miliolita Delage and Heruard 1896 <laughs> Living Foraminifera Modern foraminifera are primarily marine organisms, but living individuals have been found in brackish, freshwater and even terrestrial habitats. The majority of the species are benthic, and a further 40 morphospecies are planktonic. This count may, however, represent only a fraction of actual diversity, since many genetically distinct species may be morphologically indistinguishable. A number of forums have unicellular algae as endosymbionts, from diverse lineages such as the green algae, red algae, golden algae, diatoms, and dinoflagellates. These mixotrophic foraminifers are particularly common in nutrient poor oceanic waters. Some forums are kleptoplastic, retaining chloroplasts from ingested algae to conduct photosynthesis. Topic. Biology The foraminiferal cell is divided into granular endoplasm and transparent ectoplasm from which a pseudopodial net may emerge through a single opening or through many perforations in the test. 
individual pseudopods characteristically have small granules streaming in both directions. The pseudopods are used for locomotion, anchoring, and in capturing food, which consists of small organisms such as diatoms or bacteria. The generalized foraminiferal life cycle involves an alternation between haploid and diploid generations, although they are mostly similar in form. The haploid or gamont initially has a single nucleus, and divides to produce numerous gametes, which typically have two flagella. The diploid or schizone is multinucleate, and after meiosis divides to produce new gamonts. Multiple rounds of asexual reproduction between sexual generations are not uncommon in benthic forms. Tests The form and composition of their tests are the primary means by which forums are identified and classified. Most have calcareous tests, composed of calcium carbonate. In other forums, the tests may be composed of organic material, made from small pieces of sediment cemented together agglutinated, and in one genus, of silica. Openings in the test, including those that allow cytoplasm to flow between chambers, are called apertures. The test contains an organic matrix, which can sometimes be recovered from fossil samples. Tests as fossils are known from as far back as the Cambrian period, and many marine sediments are composed primarily of them. For instance, the limestone that makes up the pyramids of Egypt is composed almost entirely of nummulitic benthic foraminifera. It is estimated that reef foraminifera generate about 43 million tons of calcium carbonate per year. Genetic studies have identified the naked amoeba reticulomycia and the peculiar xenophyophores as foraminiferans without tests. A few other amoeboids produce reticulo pseudopods, and were formally classified with the forums as the granuloreticulosa, but this is no longer considered a natural group, and most are now placed among the Circozoa. <laughs> Deep sea species Foraminifera are found in the deepest parts of the ocean, such as the Mariana Trench, including the Challenger Deep, the deepest part known. At these depths, below the carbonate compensation depth, the calcium carbonate of the tests is soluble in water due to the extreme pressure. The foraminifera found in the Challenger Deep thus have no carbonate test, but instead have one of organic material. Four species found in the Challenger Deep are unknown from any other place in the oceans, one of which is representative of an endemic genus unique to the region. They are Resigella levis and R. bilocularis, Nodellum aculeata, and Conicothica nigrans, the unique genus. All have tests that are mainly of transparent organic material which have small about 100 nanometers plates that appear to be clay. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Evolutionary significance. Dying planktonic foraminifera continuously rain down on the sea floor in vast numbers. Their mineralized tests preserved as fossils in the accumulating sediment. Beginning in the 1960s, and largely under the auspices of the deep sea drilling, ocean drilling, and international ocean drilling programs, as well as for the purposes of oil exploration, advanced deep sea drilling techniques have been bringing up sediment cores bearing foraminifera fossils. The effectively unlimited supply of these fossil tests and the relatively high precision age control models available for cores has produced an exceptionally high quality planktonic foraminifera fossil record dating back to the mid Jurassic, and presents an unparalleled record for scientists testing and documenting the evolutionary process. The exceptional quality of the fossil record has allowed an impressively detailed picture of species interrelationships to be developed on the basis of fossils, in many cases subsequently validated independently through molecular genetic studies on extant specimens. Larger benthic foraminifera with complex shell structure react in a highly specific manner to the different benthic environments and, therefore, the composition of the assemblages and the distribution patterns of particular species reflect simultaneously bottom types and the light gradient. In the course of Earth history, larger foraminifera are replaced frequently. In particular, associations of foraminifera characterizing particular shallow water facies types are dying out and are replaced after a certain time interval by new associations with the same structure of shell morphology, emerging from a new evolutionary process of adaptation. These evolutionary processes make the larger foraminifera useful as index fossils for the Permian, Jurassic, Cretaceous and Cenozoic. Topic. Uses 
Because of their diversity, abundance, and complex morphology, fossil foraminiferal assemblages are useful for biostratigraphy, and can accurately give relative dates to sedimentary rocks, as was discovered by Alva C. Eliza in 1920. The oil industry relies heavily on microfossils such as forums to find potential hydrocarbon deposits. Calcareous fossil foraminifera are formed from elements found in the ancient seas where they lived. Thus, they are very useful in paleoclimatology and paleoceanography. They can be used, as a climate proxy, to reconstruct past climate by examining the stable isotope ratios and trace element content of the shells tests. Global temperature and ice volume can be revealed by the isotopes of oxygen, and the history of the carbon cycle and oceanic productivity by examining the stable isotope ratios of carbon, C delta 18 O and delta 13 C. The concentration of trace elements, like magnesium Mg, lithium Li, and boron B, also hold a wealth of information about global temperature cycles, continental weathering, and the role of the ocean in the global carbon cycle. Geographic patterns seen in the fossil records of planktonic forums are also used to reconstruct ancient ocean currents. Because certain types of foraminifera are found only in certain environments, they can be used to figure out the kind of environment under which ancient marine sediments were deposited. For the same reasons they make useful biostratigraphic markers, living foraminiferal assemblages have been used as bioindicators in coastal environments, including indicators of coral reef health. Because calcium carbonate is susceptible to dissolution in acidic conditions, foraminifera may be particularly affected by changing climate and ocean acidification. Foraminifera have many uses in petroleum exploration and are used routinely to interpret the ages and paleoenvironments of sedimentary strata in oil wells. Agglutinated fossil foraminifera buried deeply in sedimentary basins can be used to estimate thermal maturity, which is a key factor for petroleum generation. The Foraminiferal Coloration Index is used to quantify color changes and estimate burial temperature. FCI data is particularly useful in the early stages of petroleum generation about 100 degrees Celsius. Foraminifera can also be used in archaeology in the provenancing of some stone raw material types. Some stone types, such as limestone, are commonly found to contain fossilized foraminifera. The types and concentrations of these fossils within a sample of stone can be used to match that sample to a source known to contain the same fossil signature. <laughs> Gallery <laughs>